so the basic theorems or basic properties of boolean algebra is um these are the four ones one that um, if i want to do an operation with zero then the or operation so i'll quickly write the truth table of um, truth table of and and or so this is a truth table of and this would help me a b and let us say the output is z 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 now similarly for or gate also if i write a b and z 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 now i want i am saying uh, i want to do an operation x or 0 what is the output so let's say this is the x a is my x and if i am operating with 0 so if x was 0 a was 0 and i am uh, doing an or operation with 0 output was 0 if a was 1 i am doing or operation with 0 again it was 1 so that means whatever was the value of a and if i am doing an operation with 0 i am doing an or operation with 0 the output was also a and this is what is written over here that if i am doing an or with a 0 then variable will remain same similarly if i am doing an operation with 1 my output is going to be 1 so i am saying either variable x or 1 so that means whatever is the value of x whether it is 0 or 1 my output is always going to be 1 um similarly we can also see the operation with 1 for the and gate if x whatever is the value of x if i am ending it with 1 the variable will remain same so let's say this a is um x so i am doing an operation with 1 so if a is 0 and doing an and with 1 output is 0 if a was 1 and i am doing an operation with 1 the output is 1 so that means uh, this a remains same if i am doing an and operation with 1 so on the other hand if i am saying uh, x and 0 so whatever is the value of x my output is always going to remain uh zero so that's how we can remember these operations these operations are very very important um or useful whenever we are doing logic minimization now idempotent law idempotent means like if uh, i am doing an operation with itself what is the result so if i am doing an or operation of x with x means this a is also x b is also x both of them are same so that means uh, either a uh, zero Zero output which is zero. If both of them are one, the output is one. So uh, that means if um, the value of x, the output is also x. So x plus x would be x here. And if I am doing an AND operation of a variable with itself, the output is again the same variable. Involution law. means that what would happen if i am taking invert of a variable i am taking invert of invert of a variable so this this value will remain uh, will 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 bring it back so inverse of a inverse of a variable is is again uh, the same variable so this is what involution law here says here the other is law of complementary complementarily means that if i or x with x dash then output is going to be 1 so this means that if x is 0 x dash will become 1 so 0 or 1 will become 1 similarly if x is 1 and then x or will become 0 x dash will become 0 so 1 or with 0 will become 1 um and x if i and with with inverter of itself or basically not of itself then the output is zero because uh, if this is one then this will become zero or if this is zero then this will become one the output is is this combination which means that output is going to be zero 
so these these basic theorems uh, is is going to help us uh, and let's consider a couple of more basic theorems which are um, uh, whether these operations are commutative associative distributive so yes they are commutative that means any order will not affect if we are uh, doing an and with x and y or y and x it doesn't matter uh, or or operation so which essentially means that if i am writing a uh, and gate it doesn't matter whether i am writing in which order whether it is a b or c or c a or b or b a or c so all of this the, the order of these variables does not matter in either and gate or or gate that's what law of commutative says associative means let's say um, i i have um, there the are two operations which are in um, like together so how uh, does the order matter there it doesn't matter so means that if i am um, doing an and operation of two operations which are already anded so it doesn't matter whether i am doing in so this is again the, the similar commutative um, expressions which is extended to more than one variables it doesn't matter what is the order whether i am i am doing this and gate like this or i am doing uh, this and gate like a b and doing another and so uh, all of these things are are equivalent so all of these three are equivalent whether we are creating only one and gate or we are creating two and gates we are first ending a and b and then ending it with c or we are first doing b and c and and then ending it with a so all of these three are are equivalent so that's what law of associative means distributive is is more interesting so basically like uh, if this is a mixing of two operations now y plus z is uh, we are doing a or operation and outside it's a and so that means if i want to and the uh, or of y and z so that means i can also do it in a um, and of x and y then it will be or of x and z so uh, similarly for product also it will work if um, we are doing x is being ordered with the product of y and z or and of y and z we can also say x and y and um and it with x or z so this this uh, law of distribution means that if we have these operations like this then we can um, we can reorganize these operations in the other order d morgan's law is um, is a, a inverted law that essentially says that if we are making a note of an expression then uh, then all its individual variable will be inverted plus your uh, or would be converted into a and so here also it it happened like this that if we are doing a um, inversion of two uh, two variables like and 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 operation of two variables then all individual variables would be inverted and this and would be changed to an or gate so uh, you can ask here one question that why we are representing all of these in uh, two different tables like uh, you, you see a, a good similarity here so similarity that whatever we are writing here is also written very similar uh, way in this uh, the operation with or so uh why it is happening because in in boolean algebra there is a there is an interesting principle which is called duality principle in duality principle so um before explaining this duality principle let's let's understand one more fact that uh when we started explaining this concept of zeros and one when we we are seeing uh these zero and uh, and ones are essentially two different states of uh, a matter so there were various examples given like in in a magnetic disk either it is magnetic or non magnetic or let's say spin of a electron whether it is clockwise or anti clockwise or similarly let's say uh, at one place if there is a light or there is no light 
so uh, similarly we can see that uh, everywhere we see two different states one of the state we are marking as 0 another state we are marking as 1 so which state we should mark as 0 which state we should mark as 1 does it have any kind of a impact this is what this duality principle says this duality principle says that we can uh, replace wherever there is a zero in a boolean expression we can go ahead and replace it with one but along with that we also have to replace plus means or gate with a and gate because zero is an identity element for uh, or gate and one is an identity element for for an and gate so um, if we replace all of them then the function would remain same the expression would value the same so uh, you can see some of these expressions if we uh, see quickly here if we are ending so if we are saying that 0 is converted into 1 0 is converted into 1 and plus is converted into dot the expression is same here also the plus is converted into dot and one is replaced with zero one is replaced with zero expression is correct and same here also plus was replaced with dot means or was replaced with and there was no zero and one so we need not to do anything here okay here also so we have replaced this or with the and gate and one with zero so it worked this is how it it was working so we can see here also like wherever we were applying we just need to replace here there was a and gate this and was replaced with the or and this plus means or was replaced with the and so uh, and then uh, this expression x, x dot y will become x plus y, x dot z will become x plus z. So, this duality, x, x, uh, duality principle says that the expression would remain same, like, but we have to do it on both the sides. The other, uh, um, other interesting aspect of, uh, of our uh, duality principle is that let us say this would be uh, very much exploited in De Morgan's law. So, in De Morgan's law whenever we would like to invert uh, a particular variable. So, let us say we want to invert a function f then what we need to do is inside we can invert all of its variables and replace and with or and replace or with and. So, uh, we will take couple of examples if not today we will take take them tomorrow. So, uh, we will see that how, how this duality principle can help us in minimization or uh, in, in looking things in a different way. So, uh, one of the agenda of this understanding Boolean algebra was to, to, uh, to minimize our expressions or to simplify expressions. So, uh, based on whatever theorems we have seen here, uh, based on these theorems, now if I would like to uh, use them, then I can, I can create some of my simplification theorems. So, these simplification theorems can help me directly in, in simplification. So, let us say uh, this is the expression which is given to me. Uh, now, what I can say is because of a distributive law, I can write this as x y plus y dash y plus y dash I know it is always going to be 1. So, I can say this is equal to x. Now, uh, there are multiple ways of seeing this. Now, uh, again using my distributive principle, so I can also write this as x plus x uh, x plus y y dash. Yes. So, if you want to expand this x plus y y dash using distributive 
so then this is how it will become x plus y and dot x plus y dash so y and y dash is 0 so x plus 0 is equal to x so you can see that although i am writing it in a longer way but again because of simplification this is essentially representing only x and uh, this x plus y x plus y dash would actually represent x so uh, this this simplification could be good shortcut whenever we are we are simplifying our expressions the other one absorption so um again i can take it like this so either i can say yeah x dot 1 plus x y which is equal to x 1 plus y uh, 1 plus y is equal to 1 so it can be said as x okay so um, this one this also either we can go ahead and uh, multiply it x dot x plus x dot y which is equal to x plus x y and now we can use this principle this will become x in the other way we can also say that uh, we can say that x plus 1 and x plus y and now because it is a distributed one so this x is here this x is here so we can also say x plus 1 dot y 1 dot y is equal to yeah sorry this has to be x plus 0 so x plus 0 and now 0 dot y is equal to 0 so x plus 0 equal to x this could be a, another way of saying this but the overall uh, idea is that see this this particular expression has multiple variables multiple of logic gates would be required but after simplification you are left with only this this variable now let us take the other one elimination so here uh, i can say this is x plus x dash y x plus y now i can also write it like uh, x plus x dash and x plus y so this is why this is because of our uh, distribution principle now because there is a plus here and there is a product so i can say that uh, i can first do uh, or with this and then we'll do a product and then this x and this y could be uh, done using an or operation now x plus x dash is 1 1 dot x plus y equal to x plus y if i want to see this um, x x dash plus y um, i can simply multiply it out i can say x dot x dash plus x y <coughs> x plus x dash is equal to 0 and x dot x dash is equal to 0 and this is x y so that means this will become x y now what does these these uh, three simplification theorems are saying in a way the first uniting theorem says that if i have a variable x and there is another variable y whose complement is present is is complement is doing an and uh, with itself uh, like uh, the, the variable y as well as its complement is doing a product with uh, doing an and operation with this variable so then that can be united 
in absorption we say that if there is a there is a variable x and any other uh, any other um, expression which has x multiplying with or and ending with some other list of variables all of them could be absorbed in in x elimination uh, is is a interesting one because here x plus invert of x and then it is ended with y so this could be this this x dash could be eliminated and we can say x it is actually equal to x plus y so uh, uh, i i can understand this this could be little confusing so we need to do couple of examples ourselves and then um, we would be able to understand these things better so let's do at least uh, yeah oh sorry one more so consensus consensus <coughs> consensus means that you have uh, you have variables x y as well as x dash z and y z now you see that uh, this y is here and this z is here so that means you have uh, a variable you you have a, a variable x and there is a multiplication factor here and there is another multiplication factor with the invert of this x and uh, that um, that multiplication factor is um, is also doing an or operation so that means this thing could be eliminated so this part could be eliminated how can we eliminate that let's take an example so uh, let's let's try to prove it we can say that x y plus x dash z plus y z now y z we um, try to create another one um, we say this is also multiplied with x plus x dash because x plus x dash is 1 so i am multiplying y z with 1 this will become x y plus x y z i am writing it here x dash z plus um, x dash y z x dash this is y and this is z now uh, here i can say x and y are the common part and this is 1 plus z and here i can say that x dash z is a common part 1 plus y now because 1 plus z will become 1 so this is x y plus x dash z so this is what we say consensus theorem uh, in consensus we are we are eliminating whatever was the multiplication factor with x and z if they are found like this okay so um now these um, uh, let's let's say a couple of examples to see whether we can use them and we can use them to simplify things now uh, let's take uh, this example z is equal to a dash b c plus a dash what should we do so we see that this a dash is a common part and i can see this as as one one entity this is can be considered as one entity so i can also say this as a dash 1 plus b and c is equal to a dash so in other words i can uh, simply use this as um, as this absorption uh, theorem so i can call this as absorption theorem and using an absorption theorem i am saying that this b c can be eliminated easily now if we have something bigger like this so what we see that uh, this part let me call x and this is also present in the similar form like here and d plus e f d plus e f i see here so this i can say y this is also y so i can write this whole z equal to x plus this is actually y x 
plus y and then x plus y dash so i have x plus y i have x plus y dash so this will become will this will become x plus y x plus y dash so this will become x so this become x and my x is actually a plus b dash c so uh, this is how we can use all of these uh, theorems to simplify uh, but in the end i would summarize it like this that yes we have this n number of theorems and these theorems can help us in in minimization uh, of boolean expressions but we are not always sure that what theorem to be used what if uh, i missed the right one what if i i am not able to uh, use the correct theorem or um can there be a systematic method okay although we are going to use these these theorems uh, in those systematic methods also but can there be a more systematic method so those systematic method will try to see uh, in tomorrow's lecture or in the next lecture by then we'll try to use these theorems to simplify couple of more uh, examples maybe uh, i'll float a tutorial sheet along with this uh, along with this lecture so that you can you can try it, try it out and uh, maybe you can directly do some exercises from the textbook roth thank you very much